Let's got it with sound and everything first. Yeah, you did a strange noise. I think we should change it so you have to say an actual word. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's a bit mean. My mum can't tell me what to do. Liam, can you? Um, is it, are we all sorted? Are we all set? Are we all here? Are we live? We're all set. We're all set. We're all set. What number is it? We have one hidden person. 105! 105! Welcome, everyone, to the Ideal Ohm Show, episode 105. We are now comfortably over two years old. Thank you for watching last week. I uh, hope it wasn't as bad as it felt from the inside out. Um, thank you to all the guests that were on. Uh, we've uh, spoken to them since, obviously. But uh, we've got a ridiculously jam-packed show for you tonight. Oh, we're going to struggle to get it in in time. We've got, we're going to talk mainly about squonking. Around 10, 24, there's going to be some stuff. Oh, good. That is good shit. Another major scientific breakthrough from John. And uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. We're, and we're going to reveal our new host Ooh. at some point. <laughs> Does anyone know who it actually is yet? Because Rick's been keeping it for me as well. I don't know who. Well, she'll be here in a minute. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, so we've got our new our new Ideal Ohm Show host. How long are we going to keep them in suspenders? I don't know. Um, I've I've really been enjoying this week of um, like the, the that always amuses me. It amuses me when we it amuses us and not the never the new host when people try and guess who it is because it must be really unnerving if putting everybody but your name that's, yeah, but, uh, yeah because people say i hope it's such and such yeah yeah they do <laughs> and that you, person but... thinks i'm not such and such yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, we were really cruel with you if i remember correctly we introduced four people who weren't the new host before we introduced you which we thought was really funny and decided against doing that this time mm. oh I don't... is rick actually there i'm here rick hasn't oh he's there yeah yeah <laughs> you haven't spoken yet, Rick. It was, it was no, hard to tell. can't get a word in. <laughs> um, okay, I reckon we do it then. Should we do it? Come on, let's do it. Let's bring it. Let's bring him in. Come on, let's put them out of their suspense. Okay, we'll put them out of their suspenders. 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 Ooh, they can then sign off. Then maybe we should make them wait. I don't know. They uh, might sign off when, he, when they see who it is. I don't well, know if we. Well, I think we should. I think go for it. Yeah, go do on, we yeah. need to, do we need a run in of some kind? Oh, okay, 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 uh, okay, okay. I will. I'm gonna do a bit of a run in. Uh, you know me. I speak quite a lot. <laughs> From twenty possible candidates. No, I'm just joking. Um, <clears throat> the way this worked is that uh, Rick, Richard, and myself spoke for months and months uh, about uh, for months and months for weeks and weeks about who we were going to replace uh, Craig with. And obviously, we have a, a list in our minds um, who are the ideal people, and uh, we run those lists down against each other, really. And and when this chap, but well, given it, agree, I mean, I almost given it away there by saying it's a bloke. Um, when this uh, chap was mentioned, we all agreed that he was great, and um, um, and uh, yeah, so he kind of buzzed through to the final in our minds. Uh, we had a chat to him, and he agreed. To be the the fourth homie. Is that the best explanation I come? Yes, up that's brilliant. Well done. We're very proud that he is joining us tonight, and he is tonight. Matthew. Hey! <laughs> he is muted. He is muted. <laughs> <But> he <laughs> is the Blythe. James Blythe. Good evening. Good evening. I was I was hoping to be more. To be, to be better time than that. I was hoping to get a big plume of smoke and then come out like stars in your eyes. And oh, that would have been great. Yeah, it's very stars in your eyes. Hello, it's lovely to be here. It's lovely to be here, even though I'm terrified. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. It's, not, it's, not, it's good. It is good. It's awesome. It's, it's brilliant. I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed you picked us. I, even though nobody else, nobody else on the chat, even thought. Always the same way. Always the same. Oh, there was, there was, there was one person that said it's that James bloke from last week. One person said it, and nobody even thought anything of it. Well, they should win a prize. I mean, they should get some vinyls. I can't remember who it was now. <laughs> yep, I'll dig it out and we'll sort them. We'll PM me your address. I'll send you some vinyls for that. Whoever, whoever oh. gets James. I've just, I've just changed the cover photo as well up on the ITLO show. It's now up. Use your phone to show it to everyone. 
With the I'll show you on our screen share. Oh, you can do it, yeah, but I just changed it. Um, just so that John Malcolm very <laughs> kindly did this artwork because he's a genius. And he is very good, very good indeed. Yeah, thanks, John. Cheers, John. Yeah, Cheers, John. It's very weird talking about another man called John. Yay! There we go. Look at that. Brilliant work. Amazing, John. Good work, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely and orange. <laughs> it is good. That's wicked, isn't it? I love yeah. that. I love, I love the extra bits with the uh, with the, the Mark Ford of it and then missing Craig in the background, bro. Yeah, I've got a couple of tats that are pretty cool as well. I've got an, a Love Todd one on there. And you've got an MM510 on the other side. Yeah, yeah, it's Which wicked. I, I like that. Yeah, really cool, man. Uh, I mean, you've got, do, you've got a bloody nose this. there, Rick, but I don't know who is messing with you because you've got some forearms on you in that photo. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> Obviously, my arms aren't that they're quite muscly, my arms actually. They're not far off that. I mean, I've got a definition in my arm. Yeah, that wasn't Sorry. really that's not really us in prison <laughs> clothing, though, is it? We've got to own up. It wasn't us. We didn't really get locked up for a big I job. still, this is quite a funny. Um, John Malcolm did a train spotting one when I, we were when I was a member of S when I was an admin on SV and he made us all into the train spotting characters and um our friend and a and a, and a modder uh or a, a uk manufacturer lee adler from eden I, I still remember somebody commenting they put bloody hell when was that photo taken lee's put on weight it's not <laughs> a photo <laughs> it's not a photo shoot we didn't all get put on train spotting clothes right should we get into it let's get into, get into it. it come on let's do it let's, let's do it. it what are you voting on oh i don't we John, I'll, 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 let me ask it. Go on then. You always ask it. I'm going to ask it. I don't know I'm going to ask it. Go on. John, how's yeah. your week been? What are you vaping on? What did you have for breakfast this morning? And what was the last song that stuck in your head? Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, How's my week been? Tough and full of snot. Um, can't really sleep at the minute, so that's been a bit of a shit. I got about four and a half hours sleep on Tuesday. Oh, I haven't got kids, so I know all the rest of you are going, oh, oh, I remember when I used to get four and a half hours sleep. Well, I'm all used to a lot longer, so. <laughs> I know I got about four hours sleep last night, so I'm fucking knackered. Um, so long is the answer to how was your week. Uh, what did I have for breakfast? As anybody who's on the Facebook page will know, um, I I am into overnight oats at the moment. So oh. you've caught, you get Gus oats. won't like that. Gus won't be happy about that, will he? Oh. Yeah. Oh no, no. Gus Gus's opinion doesn't count on anything anymore. No, you can discount it. No, he puts he puts ice in whiskey. Just to, if, <laughs> that's it. Bin everything, Gus. It's just nonsense. What is it ice down though, doesn't it? Because it tastes so bad. That's mad, isn't it? Ice in whiskey. I think it's supposed. I don't think that's so terrible, you know. In real whiskey circles, I mean, no. In real whiskey circles, they use a little nip of water. You can get a little yeah, jug of water. It does you need can't. to be watered down very slightly to not, but not, but not ice. Yeah, you know, you're supposed to have it at room temperature, aren't you? You're not supposed to. Um, that's supposed to chill whiskey. Same with brandy. I, I read that you're supposed to have brandy uh, slightly above room temperature. Yeah, seen. you can hold it over a flame, can't you? With the yeah, dog. yeah. And I, and I don't know if you've ever tried that. It's what the, the cheap brandy I've drank for. I would not like to warm that up. It's that, that's. Have that, you ever done the? Have you ever done the the sugar cube and absinthe thing? I was uh, when absinthe when that whole absinthe thing kicked off. I was crazy for absinthe. I took it. I, I once took a day off work just to receive a bottle of absinthe through the post. Um, <laughs> I, I and everything. I, because I had to be there. It was one of those things. Because you get alcohol delivered, you've got to you've got to be that person. So I, I phoned in sick and everything. And when it came, and it came came with a little spoon and it, oh and it was beautiful oh, and it was awful that was that's awful stuff and, and, it, and it doesn't people see it you know it's got wormwood in and it gets you whoa get you crazy yeah. like, now get you really get you drunk though whoa. oh christ i remember i had 70 percent, and as you say it's like my the best explanation i've come up with you know someone goes what does it taste like <clears throat> the best explanation i've come up with is you need a warm conservatory with all the windows shut and a urine filled cat litter tray <laughs> that and an aniseed ball. That is what it tastes like. That 
that really acrid. Fucking hell. And then, yeah. It's not good. Yeah. And you yeah, need this link to blindness, absinthe. Can't it make you go blind? That's St. John's what? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like any super strong liquor. Rick and I can make you, you know, any of them ridiculously overproof things. You drink enough, it'll make you go blind, like. Bryn got me some good some good booze, actually. I always remember this. Bryn bought me a back a bottle of rum from Tobago, and it was uh, Punchian rum. I've still got some of it, and it was 70% volume alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. yeah it's good stuff. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, back to the so, uh, how's your week been? Uh, what do you have for breakfast? That turned into absinthe. Um, oh, what sort of stuck in my head? Oh, uh, I know what it was. It was Eternal Flame by the Bangles because I was sort of listening to it before I came in. Oh, what are you yeah. put Close your eyes, give me a hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's a nice little song, John. It's a nice little song, Eternal Flame. I'm sure it's got a nice. I don't know what I don't listen to words, but I'm sure the words are nice. I'm sure it's got a nice. It's not not some low thing or other. I really wish I could have lied because I was listening to "Here Come the Regulars" by the 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 the, the replacements, but I "Eternal Flame" by the Bangles is what it actually was. I've got a new CD this week. Actually, I've had in the car, which is quite good. Best of you got Jefferson Airplane. Oh, yeah. I can't, I've got a White Rabbit song stuck in my head now. Is it surrealist? That's the excellent album, Surrealistic Pillow. I love that album. It's good from start to finish. Good. Yeah, yeah. Me and Richards were brilliant with music. We know all the musics. Yep. Um, Never heard of that one. Like, no. <laughs> I've, I've heard of Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit by Chas and Dave. Is it the You've heard White Rabbit. Rabbit. You might not realise it, but you would have heard it. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the melon in the bath scene from um, Fear and Lothan, the Johnny Depp Fear and Lothan. Mm. No, anybody? I, I haven't, I haven't I, actually. Uh, it's a film I haven't seen, but uh, I have read. I've read the book. Of, 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 oh, you've read the book. Of all the films, I would have thought you. I'm surprised you're not rocking the t-shirts. To be honest with you, I'm surprised that's not. A... Yeah, you know, if I've seen it, because I'd wear the t-shirt. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's, only seen the, he's only seen the Goonies. That's the only film John's ever watched. It's a good no, film. I've watched Bill and Ted as well. Look. Oh, and Back to the Future. They're trying to do another one of them. What then? What? Back to the Future? Bill and Ted. Oh, right. Sorry. I nearly made such a fucked up joke. Sorry. <laughs> right. Back in the room. Uh, Wait, mate. John. Um, <clears throat> I... Yeah, it's not on. This is the first yeah, week ever I, the, I have not got the Vapor Giant Nano. No, it's not here. That's two years. You've got... It's two years you've had that on. There you go. It's on the show. That's not on, I know. The changes. <laughs> new host. New... I need... Oh, oh. It's crazy times. Um, ah, shit. I don't even know what this is. Not so the next, next, next to me. No, it's not. No. The, next it's gen. The next, next assist. No. Next. It's not the next. It's one of them. It's made by them. Vapeware mods. But I can't want one at all. Next boxing deer seal. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit with a fake Christmas tree at one of them. Next catalogue. <laughs> Next. That's what it's called. Um, and in that, I have got 45 milligram um, cactus punch. So the breeze is gone as well. I, although I rate the breeze, I cannot rate the £10 a pack for the coils. I just can't do it. They only last about four days each. And it was getting daft. Yeah, I've never been a pre. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It's like buying a decent oh, Atty. Anyway, but... It's like buying a decent Atty on HP, isn't it? Just buy the Atty. <laughs> like uh, printers. The printer's cheap and then the cartridges are expensive. Hmm. So I thought, fuck it. Um, so that's that. I've, so, oh, and that's on the, the lovely Dacus flask. You'll see more of Dacus in a minute. Uh, mods, not. Actual mic. Handsome Mike. Um, next up, I have got the billet box, which I don't talk enough about, with um, bantha milk in it. I think you by do talk about it enough. Vapeswag. Yeah, I know, me too. Uh, by Vapeswag. Um, I've got some new doors coming, actually, um, uh, 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 um, which I'll, I, I will talk about them as soon as they arrive. But I do have some new uh, things. Yeah, so bantha milk. Side by Hellfire. 
which is still funky as fuck. Uh, next up is something without a battery, so that'd be hard to vape it. Well, I have got one. Really totally unprofessional at the moment, because uh, I just remembered I should have just got some just had it battery wraps and put them on my bloody batteries, but it's a bit of unbe, and I didn't. Sorry, boss. Let's go oh. on just add Nick. They're 25p for two. Um, next up. Oh, I can actually talk about it as well. Fuck a ding dong. Um, I've got I, I've got some epistle um, mango lassi in my um, phobic mod uh, with a wasp on top. Um, I couldn't talk about it last week, so I pulled the label off the mango one. So what I actually showed you is not mango, but icebreaker by epistle. Um, and the reason I couldn't show you is because, well, I'll tell you later. Um, now that's the mango that I pulled the label off because I was doing a, a, I didn't want it to be on the screen. Uh, and that's the wasp on the phobic, which is good. If you liked Chef's Kitchen, is it called? Richard, mango? Mm -hmm. wasp, mango sticky rice. I think you'll like that. It's a proper mango. And I had a mango an hour an hour ago, so I made mango. Bape kitchen. Bape kitchen. You got it right. All right. All right. All right. All right. On, Richard, you should know that. Stick mango sticky rice vape kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> mango sticky rice. Uh, and the last but not least, I'll talk about this in the news. Probably. Oh, no, I might do it now. Can I? We're supposed to do stuff we got, haven't we? Yeah, Bob. The uh, RSA BTK crank edition. Um, is that what it's called? Yeah, that with one. a V instead of an A. With a V instead of an A. Yeah. Um, this is causing a bit of a buzz at the moment um, because of what you get in the pack. I'm going to try and organise it. <laughs> Hold it up. Because uh, what you get in the pack, as standard, is uh, a normal pin. A uh, I shall hold it like that. Um, a normal pin. A um, the bottom feed pin, uh, you get a screwdriver they've taken out. Uh, but the big thing is that you get four top caps, four small drip tips, and four large drip tips. And the Alton, the Alton one has that filter thing going on in it. Has a, has a has a anti spit back protector. I don't use stuff like that, so I didn't haven't used that. Oh, and it get and you've got this as well. And what this is is so you'll remember. You can't fuck anyone until you're married. That, <laughs> which is very handy. It's not actually. It's an Don't airflow. Don't James. It's an airflow reducer that you can put underneath uh, on before you put the top cap on. It reduces the airflow. Um, <clears throat> it's fantastic. I uh, there were cheeky vape had some in the UK, but they don't have any now. Uh, we know they've got them at Hayes Town Vapes in Canada. You can order them from there if you want to. From uh, Toby, who sent me mine. Uh, because he's a lovely, lovely man. Uh, my, Mr. The wonderful Mark Todd has got a review out for this. It's Who? Mark Todd. Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Todd's, re Todd's reviews. That's the shed, right. the shed fella. Todd, Todd's e like, reviews, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, that, yeah. Bloke in the, oh, yeah. that weird chap in the shed. I think Welsh. Is he Welsh or is he? He is lives he in Scotland, but he's actually oh. Welsh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. The um, What it's got. Uh, yeah, anyway, go and have a look at the review. But he mentions this, and, and I feel I should as well. It's mid range. I'm, uh, everybody keeps saying it's cheap. It's, I'm not going to say it's cheap. I'm going to say it's mid because it's probably over what some people have paid, but it's vastly under what other people pay for things that are very similar. It's got a few little nifty tricks, like it's got a hard stop on the airflow. Um, and anybody who doesn't know, that's quite handy when you want to get an atomizer off because you can just do it without fucking about, which is very good. Uh, the other thing it's got uh, is, he mentioned this in the review, but it's very clever. Those two screws in the top are actually spare screws for the um, airflow uh, control, not airflow, for clamping the leads. So if you lose one, the spares are in the top. So you don't have to try and find the box and find the screws. Very good, very good, very good. Same it's now, actually what... quite a roomy deck as well, isn't it? It's not a... There's lots of room in there to actually do builds. I might actually have a play with mine and put two two coils in there. Yeah, and you actually do also get two two other spare spares in the bag as well. So you've got spare. You can get two coils in it. 
He, uh, um, that Welsh guy, he posted later on, he said, oh, I forgot to mention, you can fit two coils in. Fit two coils in so. Yeah, I think it'll be a bit hard because they, the holes aren't, the holes are staggered, aren't they? So yeah. you have to wind your coil, your single coil the right way to make the legs go in the right way, unless you want to bend them. So putting two in will be a bit of a challenge, but I'm, I'm up for it. He's up for it, he's up for it. Um, he, and said, he said in chat that three mil coils work really well, Jewel. Jewel. Yeah, that's what, I'm th that's what I'm thinking. Is a, I'll, let, I'll talk about it when I get to it, Mind what I'm thinking. Ooh, sorry. Go Disgustingly, on. I didn't talk again about the rather fetching and oh. uh, gorgeous <laughs> data switch vet skonka, which uh, I think it looks a lot better with this on top than it did with the tank on last week. It looked yeah. good. It looked good with anything on top. It is gorgeous. Um, Look good with that paper giant. Mark Selby last week won this mod's sister. All mods are female, aren't they? Because they've got holes in. Um, it's a, <laughs> yeah. It, it's sure. uh, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, it's gorgeous, and I was so chuffed when I saw Mark had won, and I was running it, and I still <laughs> you went to try and stay neutral, and I went click. Hey, look at that. It was no, I think that's great. fine. It was great. Mark is the man who makes cactus punch and is a is a taste genius. He is. I'm actually vaping on these tonight myself. I don't know. I'm going to pass it to James. I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's everything I want to speak about. Uh, James, how's your week been? <coughs> that's not a question. I was just coughing. How's your week been? Uh, what What did you What did you have for breakfast? Um, <laughs> if you don't eat breakfast, make it dinner the night before. Um, what are you vaping on? And where, when you were a kid, where had, where near you, when you were growing up, had the best playground? What was like the, you know, if you wanted to, mum, dad, <laughs> I want to go there. That is a, that is a good, a good question, a good question. Uh, okay, uh, how have you been? My, it's been terrifying. It's been absolutely terrifying. I have been morning noon and night i have thought about nine o'clock this evening and uh and I, and I spend a bit of time on facebook you know i have been on yogi yes so i'm on there and i'm looking on either long show page and 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 people are uh like yourself are putting up posts going oh there's a new host and i'm like there's a new host and there's a new host you need reminders there's a new host so i've thought about that at, at pretty much every week and moment <clears throat> since um since last week which i enjoyed thoroughly last week i must admit but it's still terrifying i'm quite a nervous I'm quite a nervous person you know I, this is a little bit of me comfort zone i'm quite nervous i i get nervous opening like a, pack of, a, a new pack of pasta you know but you know you get a new pack of pasta and then and it's quite you gotta you gotta pull it open but if you pull it too much oh you split it down the side and you've got to live with that pack of pasta for the next three or four weeks Do you know it's just maybe so, I, so That's you, mate. Yeah. I, I use, I use, I, I've given up on the pack of pasta. No, I'm with you because you get that, you get that. Little... Oh, oh, John's gone. That's good, John. Come back, John. Come back. No, he's gone. Oh, should we present him? I'm off the hangout. Can't. Oh, oh, no, he's, oh he's back. He's back. He's back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Max, stop presenting me. Tell us about the pasta. I was saying, I'm the same as you because when you open the pasta, if you do it wrong, you can't use that little sticker. The, sticker the little thing. sticker, that's what I'm talking The little sticker, exactly, the little sticker. You. And you've got to live with that for weeks, so it's like, oh, and it's like a safe crop, and you're pulling it a little bit and a little bit, but it's quite tough, and you don't, you don't want to give it the full welly because then, no, no, now, now, I've lost the nerve, James. I, 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 I take it up, arm roll it, pair of scissors, cut the top off, it's, can't face it. I use a peg. <laughs> As pasta, or to seal the back. Got, we've got those IKEA clips. <laughs> don't you use those IKEA clips <laughs> that you clip together? Got a we've, we've got, we've got, we've got them. We've got, we've got those little clippy things. We've got the rolly things. Got clippy things. Uh, but, but if you if you pull it too far and then it, and it tears all the way down the bag, that bag you've got to then decant that to something else. Now that's no good because then the cooking time. Because pasta, all the pasta is different cooking times. Is it nine minutes? Is it eight minutes? I don't know. Um, so uh, are you worried so it's going to go hard? So what, so what I'm saying is I've had quite a quite a nervous week. Um, I've had a, a week full of uh, full of snot and uh, no sleep uh, due to family things. Um, but, a brilliant, <laughs> but a brilliant, exciting, 
awesome week We're waiting for waiting for nine o'clock tonight yeah. um, so good uh, i enjoyed that I haven't, I haven't oh and i've got new spectacles um i i, I that's, that's not even noticed we've been we've been in chat for like an, uh, half an hour beforehand and i've got new look at the rounds and the other ones were square we, we, uh, yeah I, I, like I like i like the new ones yeah but i liked the old ones the the me the me jewish comedian glasses i think i look like a jewish comedian anyway um uh, so i so saw already john mark with a new picture was out of date oh, which is a bummer but i didn't want to say anything to john I don't know. anyway so that's me week um what have i been vaping on i am vaping on i'm sorry i'm manic and I, i'm a manic i feel a bit manic you're right you're okay you're I'm okay fine. i've that's understood fine. every single word good excellent uh so they i can am pause it anyway on live pardon they can yeah, pause they it can online pause it. Oh, excellent, excellent. That's good. Um, okay, so I am vaping on, uh, same as last week. This is me every day with whore. I've got whore in there. Some uh, RY whore um, from Concentrate. Bike around the top. Um, and the Logos. And in this one, which is. There we go. This is. Oh, yeah. Chris Scott. Chris Scott McKenzie key or which I presume sounds been the knockout. That's um, quite, quite handy because Craig had one of them, so it's seamless. It's it's it is. I should I should have put my hat on. I knew I should have put my hat on. <laughs> um, so uh, I've got the the, the Delrin key or one of apparently three in the in the universe uh, with um, what's this little boy on the top called? I don't know what that's called. Can we recognise that? In that? No. No. What's it? What's it? What is it? Look, well, no, a hellfire. No, it's a hellfire dripper, isn't it? It's not. It's not. No, sorry. No idea. No, my mind's gone blank as well. No. Oh, the, the, no, that's, the, get, that's when we throw it to chat. Throw it to chat. What's that dripper? That, that tell us. Typhoon. I've got the box just here. It's a typhoon. Yeah. That's what it is. Of course, it is. It's a DDP typhoon, uh, which I got. Which which is the only twenty-two mil I own. Uh, I'm fourteen and sixteen mil and. That is a different kettle of fish for me. I, I think it's a really excellent little laddie. And, and in there, I've got some of Simon Sawyer's, um, one of his secret recipes, uh, which I can't discuss. Um, in the, from Simon Sawyer's of uh, Strawberry Fields fame, uh, one of his secret, 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 shh, shh, secret recipes, uh, which is delicious. Um, uh, what did I have for Brad? I mentioned it last week, John. I don't, I don't have breakfast. I had a cup of tea. Ah, well, nice. Yeah, you said it was dinner the night before, then. So not. So, so uh, I had. I, I don't care about that. So last night I had fajita. Mmm, chicken. Chicken fajitas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by my wife. They were nice. It's they the were thing nice. that if you say it wrong, it sounds like an Essex sexual disease, isn't it? <laughs> I've got a touch of fajita. Tina, Tina can't come out tonight. She's got a fajita. Yeah, she's got some cream. It'll be good to see. Yeah, that's what I have for my tea. See, I didn't. I don't have dinner. I have tea. I have. Tea. Is it? Does dinner become? Does tea become dinner? At a certain because I'm northern, so dinner is lunch. Um, and yeah, tea. We have tea, this problem. Tea. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm I think willing, I'm, it's going to be on your side. I'm willing. I'm willing to go, to to accept the, the social norm and see a, and see a dinner for for tea, uh, but unless of course there is a thing where tea. Is up to a certain time because you know tea's, tea's a drink. No tea is a yeah, five to seven o'clock meal. No, it's not. See, I, I would see an early dinner was tea. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, so that's so why no, it's, it's an unwinnable argument. This is yeah. this is we like tea, tea cake. Gate. We have afternoon tea, can't but but no, yeah. Well, let's let's not let's not talk about this. Or, you can have you can have high tea, which is totally different again. High tea. That is tea from up high. It's just tea, tea in the bath. Tea on a mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, where, where were we? Are we gonna, yeah. Oh yeah, what, yeah. We're done. Are we done then? No, no, no. There was, a, there was something else. There was uh, what was it? What was it? Oh, oh the playground. Oh yeah. yeah. What council yeah. estate? I mean, what? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, I'm not from a council estate. I'm not from a council estate. But just because I'm northern, you are, you are so. Is that that's not racist? That, you're. Yeah, I thought you were racist. big, um, rich, big. Um, <laughs> what me? I can do it. Um, I can do it. Can't I? <laughs> 
<laughs> like Chris Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do it. <laughs> so, well, here's the here's the thing. There, there was playgrounds, but when I was a kid, there was a place. There was a there was a secret place called the Galvanizers, and it was and that's what it was. It was an old. Oh, we've got. You're gonna have to learn to follow our lead. Come on, there's a pun here. We've been waiting for you to say. Come on. <laughs> Was well, there a youth club nearby that used to be run by a man with a beard? Called oh, is this, is this a... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise this was a running thing. I have, I've got a biker grub story, actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can tell you a biker grub story. When, I, when um, <laughs> A few years ago, uh, I, I, I don't know if you watched Biker Grove in its height. In, in its height, there was a, there was a last in Biker Grove called Spuggy. Yeah, Little Ginger. Right. Yeah, yeah, Ginger, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, after Bite of Grove, her acting career probably didn't <laughs> continue. Uh, so consequently, uh, one evening went for a, um, for a work to do at an Italian in Sunderland, and um, and she was working there. She was working there as a um, as oh, a waitress, wow. as a waitress, as Spuggy the waitress, and and she didn't get. I mean, it was, that's 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 Spuggy, and it was definitely hundred percent. I mean, one hundred and ten percent her. But like it was definitely, hundred percent, definitely her, and um, and it was and it was good and it was good. She was she was she she, she did silver service. She 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 practiced. It wasn't her first night. Um, <laughs> it, it was just it was just an Italian. However, at the end of the night, they had a karaoke, and uh, and Spuggy, even though she'd been waiting waiting tables all night, got up on the on the um, on the karaoke, and did Black Velvet by Aladdin Miles. Oh, a bit of Black Velvet. Yeah, but and I tell you what, it was a splendid rendition. It was the best night of my life. One of one of the best. It was it was it was good. It was really it was. Spooky doing did black velvet. You, did you all get through the night without calling her Spooky? I, I honestly can't remember. I honestly can't remember. It was a lot of years, a lot of years ago. It was it was pretty much immediately after Biker Croft, To be honest with you, I don't uh, think that, was that was obviously her next job. Acting as unless she was researching it, she might have been researching a role. Uh, no, as, I didn't didn't see that film. As local, <laughs> local, local waitress, yeah, who comes good? Maybe she came good in the end. I don't know. I don't know what. Oh, she maybe she had, that's probably what it was. It was probably a film on the go where local waitress aspires to be singer. Oh um, yeah, brings back black velvet. Yeah. And just like because a, just a really low budget flash dance, maybe she's criticising her and judging her. Uh, and I have done all this this time. And, uh, and and she's probably you know big in the independent film scene now. Yeah. Did she get? Oh, I was just trying to say. I was trying to think if she, wonder if she got some dinner in that little boy's smile, but it doesn't really work. I was trying to think <laughs> black velvet lyrics. <laughs> I know that. Right, James. But that was a that was a wicked bike. I grew off. That was shit accent story. Can you pass it on to the next person? Okay, let's go to um, to uh, Mr. V1C here. Um, how's your week been, Rich? Uh, what are you vaping on? Uh, what did you have for for your tea this evening? You, for your dinner, for your dinner stroke tea, for your late meal, for the meal, the one that comes after lunch. What did you have for that yeah. today? And uh, and speaking of meals, what would be what would be your last if you were if you were sentenced to death? What would be your last ever meal? What would you choose as your last meal? That's good. That was good. I like it. I like it. Okay. 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 Um, and what, what are you vaping? Just because it's a vape. That's it. That was that was number two, wasn't it? Yeah, I said that was it. Yeah. All all boxes ticked. Um, okay. Uh, right. I haven't had any dinner yet. Oh. Um, I never get chance on a Thursday. Oh. Um, but I'll tell you what I had for lunch. Yeah, please do. I had. Mexican, spicy Mexican Uncle Ben's rice. Hey! <laughs> back to the back to some food. Back on the rice. That is a and, turn for the books. Yeah, a bit of chilli sauce on it as well. Nice. nice. Con- condiment game on point. Um, and good, yeah. I'll tell you what else I had. This is not typical. I'm, I'm not afraid to admit it. I had a slice of bread and butter as well. But the two things never What's interacted. That? They were never. There was never. It, I didn't have a rice sandwich. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a lot of carbs. But but I'm more intrigued Carbon by up. the question: Is there bread and butter at work? Oh yeah. Oh right, because I thought you just brought one. <laughs> one <laughs> I have piece done that as well. As well. 
ready like like mr bean kind of sandwich bag son sandwich bag <laughs> yeah what I, what I did was i got one piece of bread and just taped it onto my back like a backpack <laughs> i just marched in with it but the problem is i forgot and uh, squashed it on the chair three, 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 i used to quite like three. a piece of a bit of bread and butter with my pot noodle when i was younger oh yes oh yes when what, you get did you to dip the it? end when you just yes. get to the end of it and there's a bit of juice and there's a little bit a few noodles yes. left enough to make a fold over yeah then you go. yeah it's murder with the king pot noodle though you need chopsticks oh i never they were never about when i was a lad those big ones <laughs> no um okay so that was this lunch time. Um, uh, last meal. Last meal. Um, I wouldn't want to go out with bad breath. Really? What? Yeah. I don't, I'm a very self-conscious person. Uh, so I would <laughs> say... Uh, I don't know. Um... Uh, because it's different question to your favourite meal, isn't it? Yes, last meal. What's the most hard work for a prison chef? <laughs> um, probably that. Well, I don't to, oh, like a it, uh, a really elaborate cake. Want, yeah, like a slow cooked giant octopus or something, just to yeah. really piss him off. What, what's that with the with the where the press the duck with the giant copper machine with the with the duck press thing? Oh, that's um. Oh, yeah, oh, that's the big. That's the, the reclaiming. It that crushes the whole thing in front. <laughs> no, I was just going to wake up something stupid. Okay, that's a uh, duck press. <laughs> <laughs> or, really put his nose out. Just say you want a microwave curry. <laughs> <laughs> it, or yeah, like any other. He'll shit. get off on it, won't he? He'll get off on it. Have you got a piece of bread and butter? I do. I love that. Ham love sandwich. One. A fish finger <laughs> sandwich would be quite good. Actually. Not bad. What mayo? A bit of mayo. I I like a bit of mayo and a bit of ketchup at the same time. Oh no no tartar sauce. Tartar That's sauce. Yeah, bad. absolutely. Yeah, tartar sauce. Who's got who's got that lying around? Me. It's in the fridge. Where if you get a fish? Behave. <laughs> All right. Doing but, that I don't. I'm not sure about that. I would like to see it. <laughs> I don't think that's the thing. You've um, got to, got to have it. Uh, so yeah, maybe yeah, maybe a fish finger sandwich that'd be great. Um, well, how's my week been? Uh, not great. <laughs> uh, busy at work, which is good for some people, not good for me. Um, and kids not sleeping, so I'm not sleeping. Yeah, bad times. But uh, never mind. See, always pick, always picks up on a sleeping thing, aren't they? The kids. Hey, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> Molly's four. Um. Yeah. So no. Well. Yeah. You do get used to not sleep, but it's been particularly bad this week. Um. Vaping on. I'm vaping on some stuff tonight. Wait for this. I'm vaping on the uh, ice stick pico resin version. Ice with... pico resin. Nice. Hmm. With the hurricane junior on top. Is it? It's quite a combo, actually. Like, yeah, it is actually. It's just, it's it's stuck together. Um, it, it came came for high tea with me at the weekend, which created a scone scone gate. Oh, oh scone scone. Age old debate. That uh, that thread went viral. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what really catches on on the group. Um, yes, in there, I have ice cream man, which I got from just a dick. No, I didn't. <laughs> but you can get it sometimes it's just a nick can't you john yeah. yeah um um i've got this this is the iced spiders mech from oh. 5g vape oh. i haven't seen that one before no it's brand new it's a 2700 it hits like a japanese mule um do they hit hard japanese mules are they hit harder than a normal mule then oh god yeah yeah, ninja, ninja mules. Oh, ninja mules. Yes. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's like a full tub of margarine. If anyone's ever thrown a full tub of margarine at you, um, it has to be it has to be, well, be fluffy. You know what they're like. 
you could like a, you know a half tub just bounces off but the it's full... a bit soft though margarina but i'd rather be hit by margarine than butter straight up a, oh, a, yeah, a full yeah. tub of margarina yeah. you'll do your writing whenever i use i can't believe it's not butter they get all fucking funny about it yeah 5g were the people that did this the supercar squonker which obviously didn't um didn't inspire well, it's not it's not the the current big squonker right now is it let's put it that way um but this this is actually i'm actually really liking this uh they've done quite a clever thing with the compatibility it's 2700 or 18650 and the way they've done it is with a different top cap which is quite nice so i've got it in 2700 mode and uh, that gap there is deliberate. It's designed that way, and uh, it looks really nice. And it's got a very um, a lot of these these days with the whole clouds bro cloud scene. You don't find that many nice buttons in terms of I don't know. Like this one's actually inset. It's a flush. It's inset inside, and it's just a tiny little paps like press. Which I, I how are like. you, how are you finding twenty seven hundreds in Mex then? Are you finding them all right or not? Uh, I'm I'm still waiting for a good 2700, to be honest. I've These got ones one are those, saggy, aren't they? I've got one of those new ones. Well, not new ones. The uh, Sanyo. Yeah, I've got a couple of those coming. I'm going to... This, this 2700 last chance with me. I'll try those. Yeah, Sanyo A, not Sanyo yeah. B. 20, yeah, whatever the numbers are. NCR, is it something? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's a, that's a, that's a thing. I, I'm okay with it overall. Just build a bit lower, and they do seem to last quite well. It's quite nice. Um, so I'm really enjoying this mech anyway. Um, it should be Ice Spider, not Ice Spiders, but I guess that's a China thing. Ice uh, Ice Spider with my little Ida. Is that what I was thinking? Yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't that's be. My, it should, my auntie was called Ida. Just, it shouldn't have an S on it, should it? It's a, it's one mod. Yeah, and one and one spider on the mod. Yeah, if there was a flock of them or whatever you call a lot of spiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, actually, and that would have been a nicer graphic, actually. Loads of tiny ones. No, mm. I wouldn't like that. No, a bit of a lame name, really. Let's face it. Well, what can you do? But the actual mod, um, I'm actually enjoying quite a lot. Um, I have my Dacus with my squake nice. back together now. Green on green, a bit of green on green action. Um, I still, I still maintain that this scrape E is tremendous, tremendous. Um, build quality is just, yeah. Well, you know, everybody knows it's had a scrape. Um, so that's that. And then lastly, oh, what juices are we talking about? Goose in the scrape. Um, I'm oh, I'm on um, the, this one. That's the funnel cake one. This one funnel cake. That is that, cool. that is amazing. That is tremendous. That was Mark, Mark, Mark fell in love with that little monkey as well. Oh, that is really good. I was a real skeptic, but I got one on a whim, and uh, I really like it. Um, and then monkey Jeers in the ray on the stick it up battle star. So there we go, Rick. Yeah. Um, what did you have for? Dinner. What are you vaping? How has your week been? And what was the last thing you saw at the cinema? At the actual cinema? <clears throat> at the actual cinema. Um, how was it? You know, I haven't been to the cinema for quite a long time. Do you know what? The last thing I saw at the cinema, I remember now, I went with my stepson Jake and we saw the Borat movie. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was time ago. Yeah, that's about the last time I went, to be honest. Yeah. It's good. It's quite good, though, isn't it? That's funny, isn't it? God, you got to love him, haven't you? I mean, I loved him as Ali G. I mean, yeah. but better than Borat. Well, no, Borat was just a little segment on the on the Ali G show, wasn't it, at the time? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or years ago. Yeah. Uh, what did I have for... Oh, I, had a, I, had, I told you guys earlier, I had a lovely steak for tea tonight. Medium. Very good, very good, very good. Medium rare, yeah. It was a big, thick, about two-inch thick uh, slab of meat. Uh, and he bought a a, um, a rump joint that you would normally, you might roast. You might roast it. We cut it in half and had two steaks. It was good. I kind of like the fact that Anna used to be a vegetarian. <laughs> she fucking ruined her. 
Hey, I didn't ruin her. I I corrected her behaviour. You're right. You're right. You did. You did. You did. Yeah. Well, it wasn't me. She did it herself. I didn't force her. <laughs> I was eating vegetarian stuff for years. We love you, Annie. If you watch ever watch these, <laughs> you might be watching in in the other room. But oh. um, what else? What was how's my week been? Week's been busy, really busy with the new bottles and things that I bought out. They've been going well. Lots of people it's trying so, out. I, we always say this, but it, it, every time somebody Rick brings out these things that change the way people do stuff. And uh, he's very modest. Well, no, you know, I've done nothing modest. brand new here. I've just bought another. No, but they've been popping up everywhere. I really like the new. T- I like the caps you've done on them. And, I've got and to send you boys some to try them. Yeah. You know, the other idea was to make them more flexible. I've had a couple of people say, "Oh, the four mil silicon d- wobbles around in the cap, but there's a washer in there." Um, and these are made not just for the for um, four mil silicon hose. They're made for mods like the Dacus or like Chris Scott mod, where you push a bottle up over a metal tube. So they're made for those, and so you can use all five mil, four mil, and metal tubes in those. So okay. that's the idea behind them. They're a little bit different. Um, so yeah, been manic with that lot. Five tens are in, and it just went mad. We're playing catch up, but we're getting there. So yeah, really good week. Really good week. Um, what am I vaping on? Yep, yeah, I'm vaping on one of those. What is it, John? Oh, B oh, B vapes B two K. Yeah, the RSA with B2K. a V. C-R-N-K edition. K-R-V-N-K edition. No, K-R-N-K. K- it's got a V in it, no. where the A would be. No. Hang on, then. I'm looking at the notes and not the box. Oh, God. Look. There we go. I've got Look. it here. Look. Oh, you spell, you put it wrong in your in the notes, then, haven't you? Oh, did I? Sorry. Oh, yeah. right. You're reading my shitty. I know. I was just. I was just thought reading yeah. last one. I say so. The crank. The cr- B2K crank. Crank. Sorry. I wonder what you kept saying about V, and then I realised. Oh, so it was me who actually fucked you up. Yeah, you fucked me up. Sorry. No, I've. I've just actually. While well, you've been, I've been a bit quiet that last ten minutes because I thought I'd try a dual call because there's such a lot of space in there. Um, I've stuck a couple of Claptons in it now. Hey. Very nice. nice. Can you see? Oh, that'll be intense, won't it? No, because they're not fused claptons. It's still 0. 0.3. Um, and, you know, it's a tasty. It's really, the, the amount of caps is brilliant. Really good. Loads of options. I mean, I've got it sitting on my white Delwin mod there with the white cap. I think that looks pretty good to me. Looks great. I, t- yeah. I took some pictures with it on a black mod or blacked out. Um, Alton one looks good on a wooden, wood, on a wooden mod. Um, and there's a clear cap as well, which... I haven't really got much that will go on, but choices are great. And I've got the bigger drip tip on mine because I prefer a bigger tip. Um, and they are actually, those tips, you get four of them, they actually fit on your on your your goons and your Kennedys and your bigger atties as well. So it's the same size as the big ones. So if I really wanted to be silly, if I wanted to be silly, I could put something like that on top of that. <laughs> bit stupid, but... That's a nice setup, though. Yeah, I really like. Yeah, there's like so many different color options. You can just, something yeah, it's great. Yeah, and it's it's. I think I'd say you know I, I'm not the biggest fan of these little guys, as you know. I like you know I prefer a bit more cloud and, but you get a six milligram juice in a little one. It's great, and I don't think, I think this is as good as anything that's out there. I'd say it's as good as a, the ones that I've got, like an, a Hadley and a Haku. It tastes as good as those. Same as those. And easy to build on, and yeah, I think it's I think it's a winner. Good price point as well, really good price point. Fifty dollars from Canada at the moment, I think, from from Toby over there. So yeah, that's what I'm vaping on that. And in that, I am vaping on uh, lemon crack from Mark White. And that's that's gone a good colour now. But it's gone, it's gone yellow. It's gone yellow. Uh, what else? Okay, yeah, I got the RX. What is it? The Rulo RX Machina this week. Oh, yeah, you know, sure. I saw it. I minute review. Quite impressed. I was, I was quite impressed. I but. think the build quality is really good. I mean, it's really interesting. I mean, if you were, if you had a lathe and you wanted to make, customise one of these, you just make a new sleeve and put it on. I mean... I might, um, I might send it to Scott. Oh, we've got a hold on. Hold on. Who is it? Not me, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Shall I refresh then? Okay, bye. Now you talk about Rip while he's off. 
a hodor is an echo but, yeah, what i was gonna say is uh, i'm thinking about because scott's got the whole life thing going on he did those pens hasn't he yeah, I mean, lots of people have got laves and can make things. So I actually, I know um, Sam, Mr. Vaping Bogan, he didn't like the black nail bomb, but I really do. I mean, it may be because he washes up using fairy liquid and he's got girls' hands. That's exactly what it is. It, I think so. I quite like it. And I actually quite like the action on the button as well. But I am noticing, if you if you think, if you want to compare this to something like a Rogue or a Perform, you know, an Atti, a, a mod built to... Uh, to hit well i'm not going to say hit hard but perform a mod that's got less circuit resistance it's not going to compare it is a little bit weaker than that so if you like to chuck your clouds with your point you know point one builds it it won't hit as hard as say a rogue or something like that but it still hits all right it, yeah. <laughs> and it works it's not it's not yeah. it's, it doesn't hit like another like like a, a really good mech though like a tub of margarine <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know if it's the battery or i mean I, i'm using a 2700 ijoy and it's i'm it finding them staggy to be honest it comes with a tube though doesn't it for 18650 it does yeah and i mean yeah it comes with that it comes with that that it's really quite a clever design it's, it's the smallest mech you'll ever you'll ever own that takes a battery that big i mean let's compare it say to um oh yeah you're, right. Is, yeah you're right i mean with a 2700 battery in it i'll uh i'll put it next to a next, there you go. Yes, next, next to an 18650 rogue there you go hmm. and that's got a 2700 inside this one yeah, yeah. It's, so it's 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 just a stubby little on, thing. Yeah, on a fifty-minute hand check so far. <laughs> oh Christ! Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Well, I'm on that then. And uh, yes, Cactus Jackie in there. Hey! Well, again, uh, just oh, you can look. It's got a, it's got a thing on the back there. Look. Can I just just add Nick. I think I've heard it's quite good. That site. Go on. Have a look. <laughs> uh, and yeah, usual. I've got my Chris Scott. Uh, my Chris Scott. Chris Scott. I've got my Scott Bonner block that I made into a, a mech squonker with my goon on top. I did a little thing because you know I've got these black bottles that arrived. They're not very they're pretty stealthy. I put an LED inside, so when you fire it, you can see your juice level. Oh, that's clever! Yeah, <laughs> I, love that, Rick. I, I saw the picture. And I was like, oh, that because yeah. I, I love an LED in anything. But yeah, that looks brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so I thought I'd chuck an LED in there so I could see the juice level. But I thought it'd be a bit of a problem not being able to see through the black bottles. But you actually get used to it. You just vape, you just use it until it squelches and you know it's empty. So it's good. Yeah, 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 I, I always thought that was what killed grandma. <laughs> you're like, oh, that's, that's empty. Like, I'm done. Yeah. It's not, it's, not, it's not an issue. We're all taking bottles of juice out with us anyway, so it don't really matter. But that's not to see it. I don't want an LED backlit on me, back, on me black bottles, regardless to whether that's a non-issue when you go, yeah. Because we've gone on a tangent and we're talking about Mod Maker, I want to do. Uh, uh, right. I didn't mean it to go that way. No, 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 no. I want you to. I want to just mention this. Um, because that flame tank that I've got, the one thing problem it's got is when you take it off the mod, if it's got two mil of juice in, as soon as you take it off, it starts dripping. Right. Right, because it's paying me off. But let me just, if you've got one of these, the Mod Maker refill kit, what you actually do, so you take, you, you get the cap off the refill kit, take the tank off the mod, and then just get the cap from the tank, from the bottle, and stick it on the bottom. Like that. The way you're filling it up. Innovation, John. Look at that. That's what Good I do. And then I fill it up. And carry on. Nice little tip there for you. But, the, but meanwhile, your bottle in your bag is spilling juice everywhere. No, 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 because you just fill it up. No, 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 because you've done that. So you can pop this on here to fill it up. Oh, okay. Well, you're just filling it up. Okay. Yeah, and then you know where the lid is as well. You couldn't just turn it upside down then. No, because it'll piss out the top. Why would it piss out the top? It's just one of those stupid cotton... Oh, I'm going to say the word, but I don't mean it. Cotton Genesis. It's not, but whatever. It's just one of those... Or oh, RDTA. Unless you know, it's stuffed it's full of cotton, it'll drip all out the top. Yeah, know. it won't feed then. So, yeah, it's a brilliant innovation, that. 
Uh, anyway, but that's what I fucking do. I thought it was good. It's that's brilliant. a very innovative thing. You are you are groundbreaking there, John. I, I'm yeah, modern now. It should be in the chat magazine. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we're going to go on to the news. Oh, just <coughs> under an hour. Just under an hour of hand checks. You said it was going to be long. You warned them. You said there's loads yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I it was jam packed. It is jam packed. We've talked about rice. We talked about rice. Films. We managed to get bar out. Yeah, steak, steak as well. Yeah, steak. We managed to get that in. Bike a grove. Bike a grove. Yeah. There were a few tangents actually. It's, it's already a highlight reel of a show. <laughs> right. Um, Wait, it's time for the new segment. It's time for the new oh, we go, segment. Yeah, go for it. Do it, do it, do that. Do that a do brand that. new segment. A new element to the show in honour of our new get, new host, our new main full-time Omi, James. Hi. Getting to know James. Getting to know getting James. To know James. <laughs> getting to know all about James. This is a new feature where we ask James a question to find out more about him. Uh, we'll do it every single week until there is nothing left to know about James. <laughs> one question, one question only each week. So, James. Yes. Do you have any pets? No. That's the end of getting and to know James. Yeah. That's good. Getting to know James. James. <laughs> to know so, see you again next week. James. Different question. <laughs> Yeah, see, and Mark Todd was worried that we weren't going to introduce the guest, but I think if I the guest, the host, but look, look, we did, did it? Yeah, there we go. Right. Um, so, news. News. Uh, I'm going to be mine as quick as possible. Um, obviously, uh, just had Nick are launching, a proudly launching a pistol, um, concentrates and kits on, it's going to land on Monday, so I'm going to say Monday afternoon. It is winging its way here from the US of A, and we've got three of the well, we've got a lot more carrot cake than anything else because we know y'all like carrot cake. So we've got carrot cake, mango lassie, and ice breaker um, uh, that are all coming in on Monday. Uh, I'm going to hope. I will get them all on the site by four o'clock on Monday and then I'll tell everybody we've got them and then you can do that. Um, the other bit of just a Nick news I've got to say, uh, it's going to be a surprise, but next week we're going to do a sale. Uh, uh, we're, we're taking a range off the site and so to clear it through, no fucking about, no 10%, 20%, no, 30 no, 4 never. 50% off on that range we're going to do. Um, it'll be what 50% range? off the concentrate. I don't know what we're going to do with the kit because it's a that's a really difficult thing. But if you mix your own stuff, and once it's gone, it's gone. Because I need to clear the rack to get nine more flavours we've got on before Christmas. So I've got to get it off. And um, so, uh, yeah, by the end of next week, I would have done a 50% sale on one of the ranges. I'll announce the range the day before, and then we'll do it. And I don't suspect it's going to last very long because that would put it down very low. For, for, for um, I just want a quick shout out to my uh, my my <laughs> to my boss and best mate Simon, who just walked in this afternoon with some beers he picked up for me in Amsterdam. For me in Amsterdam, somebody mentioned said in chat, uh, "What can I have some reviews?" I don't even know what they're called. Um, <clears throat> at the moment, I'm drinking. Uh, Brower Fridgetich. I don't know. She's got a. I don't know. I'm going to try and I'll cover her modesty. So, lady, lady, this is seven percent, which is quite strong. Um, and there's a uh, there's a there's a range of Belgian, Dutch. Uh, what the one of them I had was Hawaiian, and I think this is uh, this is the Belgian beer, which I'm going to finish the show on just to kind of keep the world entertained because this is. This is a 9% beer. A Hublon Schuf. Mm. Yeah, I'll finish, that. I'll finish the show on the Hublon Schuf. And I just want to say thank you very much, Simon. It's really kind of you. Uh, another quick shout out, which is to the um, VT UK. <coughs> Opened a raffle in, on their show on Tuesday. Uh, if you're not a member of their page, you want to go over to www.facebook.co. No, .com. It's just .com. Yes, yeah, um, .com, mate. Um, 
and uh, find uh, VT UK, find the group for VT UK, uh, which is also there on Tuesday nights. Um, but they're doing a, 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 a raffle at the moment for Cancer Research UK, I'm pretty sure. And, it's going to uh, be drawn in about two weeks' time, I was told today. Yeah, about, about two weeks' time. Um, lots of prizes over there. Uh, well, you know, uh, Chris was on the show last week, and uh, Mr. Mod Maker put some stuff in, and I checked a couple of kits and, and just done it. But there, there's a whole prize list. Go over there and buy some tickets. Uh, oh, well, no, I'm not going to do that bit. I'm going to do the next bit. That's what I'm going to do. I've got a funny one to end on. This is a brilliant piece of news that came out earlier today from www.theverge, which, I mean, you could just type in any old tabloid shit and get this. So this is from this, this the, the, the headline, the sucker, suck you in headline was smokescreen. Um, I don't know if I'm going to try and pronounce, I'm going to attempt to pronounce this the chap's name. Um, hold on a second. Um, Samir Sanaji had no idea what he was getting into when he agreed to talk about the potential risks of vaping at the first US e-cigarette summit in Washington, D.C. this May. His first clue was the booing. As a professor of the Institute uh, for Health and Policy, uh, and clinical practice studies how gaps in tobacco regulation affects health. Right, he, th this article is brilliant because there are so many lies all the way through it. You should definitely try and find it. I said it's called, the article's called Smoke, Smoke Screen and it's on uh, um, a website called The Verge. Um, <clears throat> two years before the conference, he'd reported in uh, JAMA, Pediatrics that young people who smoke hookah or use snus, a form of moist, smokeless tobacco, are twice as likely to try cigarettes as kids who don't. Neither of those facts are true, so they would be called not facts. He suspected that e cigarettes with kid friendly flavours like cinnamon roll and peanut buttercup carried a similar risk. Again, not true. And that's exactly what he and several colleagues discovered. It's amazing, it's uh, rot, because we know it is statistically. It's not true. Um, but that was one of the articles I found about vaping in the news this week, but that's nothing because uh, my favorite one, I really stupidly didn't upload the picture because I should have uploaded it to the, you'd be able to see it in a second because Rick would have it, but he hasn't, so I didn't put it on the folder. So the second article I found, which was uh, published two days ago, um, and it was just titles titled, Vaping May Cause Heart Disease. I thought I'd have a read. I'd have a read. It'd be the first time that uh, nicotine we know speeds up the heart, but the idea that it might cause heart disease, I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll have a quick read. I, I've cut my favorite paragraph because I'm not, not a fan of animal testing, personally, but this is an amazing paragraph. So his team decided to test the effects of long term vaping in mice. You're already thinking. Why? <clears throat> they, they placed the animals in a chamber filled with e-cigarette vapour for four hours daily. That oh, seems like, dear. That, that seems like a lot of time. They continued this for eight months. <laughs> like, what the fuck? The exposure thing's got these mice got was no higher than what an, and the average vapor now experiences Olfert report mice live for two or three years so that eight months of vaping was about the same as 20 years of vaping for a human of four hours because that's like hot boxing yourself with vapor for four hours a day it's amazing yeah, yeah I, we know we know what, it's a load of crap what you've proven there is nothing, but I quite just, uh, I just well, the uh, mouse size vapes. You think it was a mouse size vape? It was because if, 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 if you don't scale the vape down, then <laughs> I'd say the uh, you definitely need a nano the mouse, wouldn't it? it it's a mega nano, an ultra nano, a, a, a micro nano. Yeah. I bet they had vapors too. Couldn't taste the cheese. Oh, terrible. 
It would be such a tiny amount of vapour, wouldn't it, though? I mean, to compare a lung size of a mouse to lung size of us. Yeah, well, no, because you've got to you've got to make sure they're breathing it in. So, you know, they just kind of went, and then it's just, the mice vanished for eight hours, and then they've got to suck the vapour out, and they go, oh, what did that do? And all the mice are like, what the fuck happened? That was mental. <laughs> I'm wired. <laughs> Blind for four. Oh, what they clean the tanks with? They have trouble with my windows. Like, can you go and do it them sides? <laughs> Newspaper is quite good. Yeah, Newspaper and vinegar. Uh, and vinegar, yeah, I've done that. Yeah. Oh, Ask him what they clean. Thanks. It's all wired still, but it works. It's more questions <laughs> than answers, isn't they? <laughs> so, oh, yes. it's, it's an amazing. That is an amazing study. Uh, I'm going to do a quick one that I talked about absolutely before, which it came on. I'm going to do it again. Um, Jimmy Parker, the one for Jimmy Parker. Jimmy, this isn't yours in my hand. Um, yours at work, but there's a reason for that. Um, I have in my hand, and I've showed this on the show once before. We've never done this before, but don't let us down. I'm not going to do it tonight, but I will do it. Um, I have got a, a, a frost mods, um, a frost box, one of these, and I've got another one. I've got its sister, <clears throat> which Jimmy sent me this week. And what I'm going to do is I will organise when I can, which might well be next week, a not, yeah, a raffle for two. There are two mods, so there'll be two prizes. One of them is this, one of them is the sister of this, and what this is, is a series um, uh, mod. Uh, and it is, um, anybody's ever seen one of these in person. This one is absolutely brand new, it's never been used. They're absolutely fantastic. If this is your style of vaping, yeah, I want you, that. you're in for a treat, it's fantastic. We're going to, I'm going to sort out a raffle, for these i'm going to do it for five pound a ticket there's going to be two prizes and both of the prizes are frost box mods and um why well, uh, we already know where the money's going to but it's going to a very good cause um and i will do that shortly so that was just a bit of a teaser really uh thank you very much jimmy for giving us that and and thank you very much uh to uh, mr frost uh, as well who gave this one to jimmy at vote first knowing that we were going to that it was going to be given away and jimmy you already know who the money is going to it is the person that it's the reason he gave you this mod we're going to stick with what he said and i'll do them both he'll understand that no other person will uh next in the news is not me it is rich richie oh, rich that's me that's me uh okay hold on tight you don't come across as a rich it confused me for a second like, no I've never Can we change told. your name now then? Are you rich now instead of Richard? I'll, I'll take either. Take either happily. Okay. Okay. So first one, uh, first article uh, is in the Daily Vapor, dailyvapor.com. Um, this uh, came up recently. It's done the rounds. Um, big tobacco invests in largest US vape retailer. Uh, so the guys behind Marlboro um, have invested in Avail Vapor LLC, based in Chesterfield County, uh, and they have more than a hundred locations in, in Virginia and eleven other states. And basically, the guys behind Marlboro—I uh, forgot the name actually. What, what who the name? Who, who is it? Uh, was, he the, was Philip Morris Imperial? Um, uh, who else is it? It's not. Uh, uh, British American tobacco. Uh, is it who's got Bulbra? I'm trying to think. Altria, is it? I can't remember. Is that what they are now? I think they're called Altria now. Okay. Uh, but uh, oh, yeah, Philip. a massive, massive investment in a veil vapor. It is Philip Morris. And um, so yeah, so they've they've bought uh, a major, major share in this company. Oh, a lot of people are saying Philip Morris, but on the article it does say. It could be a subsidiary for yes, Philip Morris. Obviously, have fucked their own name because they've killed a lot of people. That's true. Um, so yeah, so they they've bought a major major stake in this company that has over a hundred vape shops, um, and it's believed that you know, uh, as encouraged by all governing bodies, they are making steps into vape 
Um, I think initially it looks like, reading between the lines uh, in this article, that they're looking for a distribution outlet for their... Um, they have these heat, not smoke products, don't yeah. they? And yeah. not a single vape shop in the world wants to do them. They did them. At, I was really, really proud of the fact that they actually had them. It was the least popular um, stand at Expo. Yeah, it shouldn't even fun. really be there, though, should it? Because it's not a vape. They, shouldn't, they shouldn't fucking be there. But I really they, liked. They'd the registered under that. a different name. But I, what I liked is I saw quite a few vapors when I was standing nearby stop j just to po politely, and they've never said it, but they've kind of stopped politely just to say exactly what you just said. Just, oh, no, I don't want one. Just politely say, I hope you kind of go bankrupt and um, all, all end up unemployed. But th that's all. And then just walk off and leave and stood there. And, and, and then nobody got shitty, but just to say, seriously, fuck you. And You're off. not well, not welcome at vaping events. I yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah, so it looks like um, a little bit of a sort of canny move to find an avenue to try and sell these uh, heat, not smoke products. They've still all back. got to try and flog their tobacco, haven't they? Because they've got invested I, I in... I will say, I, uh, if you run back through the... If you're mental and you go back through the two years of shows, I, uh, um, I, I mean, I've done it at least twice. I've always said that our enemy was never legislation. It's always been um, big tobacco. And uh, they're... They've always been on the back step, and that's where they need to be kept by 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 cottage industry and and you lot who are watching the show keep them where they need to be. Which is I can this. see that it might it might be beneficial to a smoker who's never even considered vaping, but it, why not just go straight to vaping? They're sort of it's trying to fill a middle oh, ground not, that doesn't need to about, exist. They're going to come for this this vape no smoke thing. <clears> this um, heated tobacco thing has been around for ten years at least. It's bollocks, but it's not even that. It's them taking steps into the vaping industries as well. Um, it's an in, it's an inferior product. There's absolutely no comparison. Yeah. Like it's no. still, you still smell a cigs. It's still very expensive. <coughs> but they're coming. All I mean is they're coming. And they they are coming for us at some point. That not you know they're going to. Uh, once all the they've been on the back foot. As I say, they're still trying to sell shit like the Vipe. Um, I think that's by British. Well, I think it does okay. The Vipe, you know. Uh, I think it does all right. But imagine they got into them. Into with that I don't slot. mean I don't mean it go it's good. I just mean it's probably quite a good seller. Looking at yeah, because it's in Tesco's and stuff. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's the outlets, isn't it? Yeah, and I think that's what they've recognised with this. And the next interesting bit of news off the back of this will be how well it does in those locations. Hmm. So they've actually got a platform to sell it now. So it'll be interesting to see how they get on. But obviously that'll take time. Um, be a bit of retraining for the staff in the vape shop. <laughs> well, they're trying to. We, I, we have we spoke about this before. Lobbyists, tobacco lobbyists in America and in the UK are trying to. They're trying to sneak in a little bit on our ground, uh, slightly separately, by trying to reclassify those little tubes of tobacco that you shove in it um, uh, into a different tax brand, which. Mm. You need to prevent them do it. You know, any uh, uh, don't sign a fucking read. If somebody sends you a petition, I know lots of people just filled this stuff in. Read it, because they're going to make a fortune if they do that. If they manage to drop the tax, they'll be everywhere. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so that's that's a thing. Uh, the next thing um, is if you could pull it up, Rick, using your fancy skills, um, the beloved. Fellow Omi Riyadh, uh, who owns a couple of shops in Scotland, uh, wrote a letter to the Scottish government, basically. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of rumours flying about, and always have been a lot of rumours flying about, about short fills. Yeah. Uh, specifically, that the Scottish government were interested in legislating against short fills in some way. Um, and it, he literally sent you know a letter out to see if there was any credibility behind this rumour. Um, and he got a pretty categoric response, really. Um, obviously, not going to read the letter verbatim, but it's... Oh, it's, it's uh, yeah, read it out verbatim, Richard, just because for people no. who've got <laughs> internet connections. 
Uh, well, people can pause it, or if they're watching on catch it, they can pause <laughs> it, or they can go see Riyadh's Facebook. But it's it's there, and it, it's a thing. In 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 essence, it says they have absolutely no intention whatsoever, really, reading between the lines. Um, they state what what things they are, what actual regulations they are very keen on, very pleased with. They, they state those, but ultimately say you know they don't have anything. And firstly. It's really good that Riyadh actually went out of his way to bother to do that, because as a vape shop owner, either way, he'd be fine. If he had to sell 10 mil bottles, if he had to sell big bottles, he'd be fine. He could just roll with the legislation. Uh, but he bothered to do that, and I think that's really good. And uh, hopefully, to, to, hopefully just, it puts this rumour to bed, because it's a bit of a nonsense, out-of-nowhere rumour. I, I want to say, well, there was a bit of a thing where this, this rumour came from, and I, I, I'm in a privileged position where I can say this without fear of uh, retribution because you can't really do anything um, because we don't get these these emails but this this came I know where it came from because I saw them and this came from distributors emails is where it came from yeah that's where it came from and and and, um, and Riyadh never said that but I'm saying I've seen this on distributors emails that are coming out with their new stock in and they're sending out Oh, so, blah 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 blah. It was, and a sales, it was a sales tactic, basically. It's a sales tactic, yeah. So I, I, I just want to be plain that people are probably some people who are watching this thinking, "Well, I haven't seen that." You haven't seen it because it goes on behind the scenes. Sometimes people say things to get rid of stock, and they can't do that. Well, there, there are certain distribution outlets that have tied so much money into these huge huge big famous lines of 10 mil bottles of yeah. 10 mil bottles and 10 mil bottles and 10 mil bottles of all these famous amazing juices that uh, people just don't want in that quantity anymore and it's a thing and but there we go hopefully it puts it to bed uh so there we go and i thought i thought it was really good that we did that and published it and yeah everybody wins uh, so yeah, so that was that one. Uh, lastly, as always, uh, piggybacking uh, the mooch. The mooch did um, an interesting pick. Me, me and Rick have been bemoaning twenty seven hundreds this week, this last couple of weeks. Uh, mooch tested a brand new twenty seven hundred. If you've got the picture for that, Rick. There we go. Uh, so this is uh, a new one. Vape cell gold thirty amp. 3200 mar 2700 so um it uh mooch was happy with the results of this basically um it looks like a rewrap of a sanyo a which is what you've got coming rick yeah um, i've got a couple i've got a couple coming norbert had some i'm not sure if he's got any more but if you check out eco lux he might have some left he had a yeah. few put them on last night so. it's small, it seems to be small quantities for whatever reason demand is very high um, if you can't get hold of them and you can get hold of these, though, then you're laughing because it's the same thing. It's basically a Sanyo A rewrapped. I think um, what I've got coming is a rewrap as well. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, but this does this does meet the uh, it meets what it says on the tin, which is great. It's a, a thirty amp, three thousand one hundred ma, which is a bit higher than you'll get off an eighteen six fifty, and genuine actual thirty amp, which again is very very useful for people that vape low. Um, so yeah, if you're still struggling to get the Sanyos, there are some uh, good rewraps coming out. But but stay tuned to Mooch, and uh, I don't I don't this don't know if this sounds cheeky, but Mooch's whole thing, the way he publishes his news, it's brilliant on Instagram. <laughs> that is just the perfect platform for his news because you get these snapshots like this that literally, unless you super intensely need to know the details, they're great. So. At the very least, follow Mooch on Instagram. And uh, I don't know if he's in chat, but there's a good possibility he might be joining us on the show next week. Hey, hey, we love Mooch. We love Mooch. So, uh, yeah, follow him on Instagram because those are really cool. And there's going to be loads of these 2700s. 21700s need all testing as well. So, yeah. So, one. Well, there's also another size that's becoming popular, which is the 2650s. Never heard of them. Well, yeah, the eight and six were well, just a little bit more ma than a than an eight and six fifty, a little bit wider. So they're sort of coming along as well. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, they need to. I, I don't want to get into a situation where we have like literally a mod for every possible size of hydrogen battery. But yeah, uh, hopefully a winner sort of pokes its head out at these sizes. It is for me already, and that's eighteen six fifty still. I'm afraid. 
it's a great battery. But yeah. um, we'll see. I'm hoping that this uh, this NCR cell can 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 work can perform like a VTC five A. I'll I'll let you know as soon as I get one and test it out. Yeah. So uh, yeah, as always, keep in touch with Mooch. Brilliant yeah. stuff as always. Uh, James, news. You got any? Oh, the new the new Amy news. I have I have news. I have news, <clears throat> but it is uh, last week's news. But I had <laughs> but I, I had it's, notes. It's the olds. It, it, it's, I don't think anybody's mentioned it though. Nobody, nobody, no, sorry, no, nobody, no, no, nobody, 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 uh, both bringing back the what is essentially the the unicorn of the the bottom fed atomizers. Uh, MRT is um, is and I don't, don't, don't pull that face. Don't pull up. The, the MRT is going to be available at uh, Vape Showcase um, in America somewhere. Uh, I think it's Missouri. Um, they're, bringing fi- they're bringing 50 to VF Showcase, but, but the, their post um, on their own page on Facebook stated that there's going to be two prices because it's, it's, it's a BF kit. It's an, S- it's an, it's an SBF kit. It's uh, a single coil bottom fed kit for the MRT, uh, which they're releasing as a, as a whole package sort of thing. So it's the MRT, it's the BF pin. It's a single coil reducer. It's um, a five. Uh, I think it's a, it's a there's a five ten adapter and a separate um, membod um, drip tip, and that's going to be four hundred dollars, which is it's quite it's, it's a. You can buy just, just to say anybody anybody watching this show, you can buy an atomizer with a, a very similar deck that vapes exactly the same for twenty quid. It I. Is, uh, I am I, look. I am. I'm not here to argue with. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I've, I've tried. To hate that I've, never, I've never owned. <clears throat> I've never owned an Air Matty, John. I've never. I've never. Owned, I've, I've tried an Matty. It is a decent Addy. It's all right. In a sea of decent Addies, there are. But now, I mean, there's so much choice. When that came out, you you kind of the reason it's anything is because they didn't make enough. It is don't. Even if you're mad and you're watching the show, don't don't bother. It's like you might buy, go out, go to a local t-shirt, um, make it you know custom t-shirt place, and just get "I'm a dickhead" written on it. It's cheaper. You're saying I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here. I'm not. I'm not here to, to, to present an opinion. Uh, <laughs> oh, I totally the news. Okay. This is the news, John. This is just <laughs> simply the news. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just bringing the news. Name my line, John. About putting bed atomizers. I'm just, I'm just here telling you. I'm picking on the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picking on him. I'm picking <laughs> on anyone that plays. <laughs> we all agree, mate. It's fucking hype. Is a daft thing. It is. It's cr- it's, it's absolutely crazy. So it's, it's going to be it's going to be four hundred dollars um, at uh, at VF Showcase in um, in in America in uh, in I think I see I think it's I think it's Saint Louis uh, Missouri, um, Rocco Bureau. Uh, but then it's then going to be released. I think I think they're going to release it on their website. So they have the, so you're going to be able to buy them. As, or, or some a very select amount of people are going to be able to buy them. Um, they'll sell them. They'll sell them all. And yeah, I'll sell them. Them. And then no, within, within seconds, within seconds, and they're going to be three hundred and sixty. They're going to be three hundred and sixty dollars uh, on the website when they get released. But also, I like it. Uh, so, so me, me, me headline was big hitters are back. Uh, is uh, is the knocker, which I'm, I'm sure. I mean, a fortnight That's ago, great. that was. I I'll defend that. I just uh, there's people in the in the chat right now who four hundred dollars is blowing their mind. I promise you, flippers will get two thousand dollars for it the next day. Oh yeah, I mean they're they're individually serialized as well. The the, the serialized as as the FBF as FBF uh, as the single bottom fed because obviously because when you is the thing when you buy an MRE, um you buy a basic MRE, you don't get a BFP. It's the same with the Narda and uh, and uh, but I don't know about that. I mean, the next one is the Nock the Narka, which I know Mock has reviewed and a few there's a few that there's a few that reviews. There's certainly Mock has reviewed it. That, that's me big hitters uh, thing. Um, 
Sorry, dude. So it sort of comes, it comes with, so you can't even get it, you don't even come, it doesn't even come with a BF pin as standard, so you've, you've got to buy a BF pin separately if you can get it. I must admit, I like the Narca. I, Mark, Mark showed it me at Expo, and the improvements are really good. Yeah, it looks, I mean, I, I, like I say, I've not, I've not owned a Narda, I've not owned an MRD, but I have owned a Narda, and uh, it's a decent alley. Again, a decent alley in a sea of decent alleys. Uh, it's a little tricky to build on. I think you've, you've got to get the build right um, for it to be. I have less of a problem because they, 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 yeah, okay. We could say they haven't made enough or whatever, but they don't, um, they, I, I've not, yeah, I, I think morally they're, they're doing better. Well, they've, they've brought out a new model. They've, they've, they've updated it, shall we say, and uh, we're bringing out the, the Narca, which, let's say, Mark has brought out a, has got an awesome review up um, well early. Uh, it looks it looks improved in in virtually every single respect. It looks yeah, easy to build yeah. on. Um, it comes with a BF pin. I, I think I think it, it looks it looks the dogs. It's a smart looking at it. That's the thing with the, the Nora. There's a ton of options uh, to be able to update. However, the B2 Kia by BB Vips is kind of it blew me away when I saw that a few weeks ago. Uh, just, uh, just at how much you got for your money. You know, you, you for it's almost nice, a similar nice, price to the entire kit. If you're talking about dollars, you buy a single, a single top cap for an order, and you buy, and yet you're getting such a plethora of goods with that. I don't want to say it's a game changer because that's a bit of a. You know, yeah, that's become a poison. It's crazy palette. how much you get for your money for that. So anyway, that, that's me big hit. Me big hitters, big hitters are back. Yeah, that's good. Like that. Uh, my second bit of news is vape drama. Mm. Ooh, vape drama. The vape drama, which I just did not expect, but you can't, you, you, you can't, you can't necessarily predict these sort of things. Uh, was left-handed squonkers, and this was oh. this was. This was, I, 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 I know you were in, you, you were, we were all involved, we were all involved. <laughs> yeah. There was, there was, there was a thread uh, on, uh, on, I'll just see a Facebook, I wouldn't. No, you can say UKS. UKS Okay, then we'll, we'll still say UKS. Uh, there was a thread on, on, on UKS uh, this week, which, which was um, a chap who, um, he wanted a left-handed squawk, he wanted a left-handed version of a squawker. Was he being um, serious or not? I don't understand. I, I, it's it's one of them where you could just there's a thousand memes for it, isn't it? Yeah. I, I think he was being serious. He, he said, I, I tell you how serious he was. He set up a group and he also bought various um, various web domain names. Uh, apparently, I, I don't know. Really. Anyway, anyway. So anyway, I want. I don't. I don't. I don't want to talk about that chat. I want to talk about left-handed squawkers. I want to talk about the reaction of people with left-handed squawkers because it was crazy. Left-handed squawkers. People who were left-handed, they were for it. They were against it. Right-handed squawkers were up in arms, but they were, oh, they were sympathetic. It was. It went a little bit mental for about twenty-four hours. I, 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 what I thought was a little bit mental, and my t and I just wanted to give my take on it because. What, I didn't, what, I didn't what, chip first in. of all, sorry, what do you mean by a left-handed squonker? Because yeah, that's exactly so what, 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 with, what with the example of the SQ, it, I mean, you can fire it this way, you can fire it this way, but is presumably this, that, you mean that it's a closed a hand. Configuration, isn't it? That's a standard configuration, and uh, here I've got uh, the loop boss, and it's a standard configuration, which is um, the button on the, fr uh, do you call it the front? The front, and... Um, and a door with the scrum call on the left hand side. It's a standard configuration. It's what we all consider to be a standard configuration. Yeah. And some people are saying this is a right handed scrum call. I don't believe this is a right handed scrum call. What this is, is this this is a finger firing scrum call. Because mm. if you finger fire it, if you if you finger fire, then you can then you can easily scrum with your thumb. It's, it's easy. However, if you're a thumb fight, if you're a, see just, let, see, let, let me see this, Drew John. If you're a yeah, thumb fighter, <laughs> if you're a thumb firer, then there's got to be some adjustment made. However, if it was a left-handed squonker, you could thumb fire and you could squonk with your middle finger or your index finger or whatever you want you wanted to do. And and it's not a case of to me, it's not a case of left-handed or right-handed. It's a case of are you a thumb firer or are you a finger firer? 
for mods of that configuration, which is like oh, the standard configuration. Can I just go for a consensus of four? I'm just going to start from left to right, what I've done before. Uh, Richard, I'm going to go across the board and ask everybody the same question. Are you right-handed or left-handed, and which hand do you generally vape with? Right. I want to say straight away that I'm right-handed, but can okay. I just show you how I squonk? Yeah, go for it. So I would vape like this with an SQ, da 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 but I always, when I squonk, I put it in my left hand and then thumb it. With a separate right. hand? Yeah, is that bad? Wow, it's no, no, no. It's fine. But this, that, uh, that, that makes this a completely uh, universal squonker because you could put it, it in does. your right hand and push it with your left thumb. James? I am, uh, I am right-handed and I squonk, uh, I'll, I'll, that's not, not the appropriate one, and I squonk um, right with my thumb. Right-handedly, uh, this is how I, this is this is, uh, this is my preferred squonk fire one. Right, Rick. I'm right-handed. Yeah. I vape. I squonk with both hands though. Yeah. I and if I'm working, I've got it in my left hand. I have no problems fire. I finger fire. Yeah. I have no problems going like that and squonking, or going like that and squonking. Oh. It's actually easier for me to do it with my left hand. And even if I thumb fired, it's not that big a deal to. You spin it round and push your finger through the hole. So I don't. I finger fire. I don't think it's left handed. I think it. Well, I actually think it's easier to use left-handed. I am, <laughs> <coughs> like medically described as ambidextrous. That's really annoying. Um, <laughs> who is me whoa, whoa, whoa! Who is medically describing you as ambidextrous? <laughs> so I do. So so I play all sports with my right hand, um, but I, I but I write my left hand. Bro. But I also I vape my left hand generally, and I, I I'm going to go against the thumb finger thing because I swap all the time. So at the moment it's on thumb, with a so I I squonk it like that, so I'd squonk with this finger here, yeah. and but generally it could be there, and then I just do that. So my thumb's there. It doesn't. It literally makes no difference. It's not a thing. You don't totally. need it. Totally, it, it makes absolutely no difference at all. It, it's, a, it's a minor readjust. I don't mind. It's not it's, a thing. It's, 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 the whole, the whole thing is. It's, but it's like it doesn't make it, me angry though. I'm not. It's angry like it's like scones and jam. The mod a certain way around. No, it's a bit of a ridiculous thing. But it's Isn't not it? like you know. If you get a pair of like, it's quite a funny thing actually. If you get a pair of scissors, <coughs> you know, people think a lot of people think there's no such thing as right hand and left handed scissors. But weirdly, if you pick up a pair of normal scissors in your left hand they won't work they don't work which, which is a very weird thing for you to do but that's not the same it does fucking work it doesn't make yeah. any difference it does it does so, so that, that's anyway, even, i just wanted to see what the consensus was that's me that's me setting piece of news i have got some more slightly more serious news um, uh, um teen smokers uh are down um in there's a the is that a band or are they just teams? <laughs> they were on six music this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the 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 numbers the numbers are down. Um, uh, this is the, the, these are 2016 facts. These are from um, there's a there's a yeah, but they're always one year behind. Jim. They're always absolutely absolutely. Um, so teams are 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 down. They're looking at um, being totally smoke free by 20. 40, but I think they can knock that out of the water. Uh, however, teen vapors are up slightly, but those two numbers are not being correlated. And uh, they believe the reason teens motors are down is because um, because vendors, tobacco vendors, are being more vigilant. Um, What's your sauce? Uh, this came from um, originally came from an article by uh, Dave Mosley on Plant of the Vapes, and then went into the original material which is from oh, i can't remember who it's from exactly uh, the, some sort of government um, was it the office of national statistics it might have been somebody like that john absolutely it generally it's just to right, these things i'll mention them it will be, will be yeah. legal reasons yeah. i mean that, if I leave, yeah um so how can that be bad you have to admit even however you take that there's no bad news in that there's there's not there's not i mean i i i, I, I was got when I was thinking about this, I was thinking, do I do I want to then move on to teenage vapors? And and it's and it's and it's, it's, it's without a doubt become become a thing that I've seen 
uh, in the last few years that I'd never seen before. And do, do I approve of it? Do I approve? But it's one of them. It's 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 rock and a hard place, isn't it? I don't I don't want I don't want people to I don't want people to smoke. But but then at the same time, I, you know, I feel like as though I should be advocating vaping for smokers, but not for but teenagers. Are, are they? They're not mutually exclusive ideas, are they? You don't want teenagers to smoke, but but you can also dislike teenagers vaping. I think that's I think that's the problem. Yeah, but I don't. And, also, I don't mind. I don't really mind. I don't mind if a teenager but, has a, a soy latte. No, <laughs> <laughs> the thing I will say though is that if um, they've got a oh shit, ah oh, fuck it, I'll get in trouble. I always it's do. The, it. It's there's um, not there's no health negatives with vaping. No, what, there is. You can't say that. There isn't. Hopefully. It, 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 it doesn't appear that there is. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't appear that there is. But, but I was going to play devil's advocate there, right? Because we've got, we're in a really, uh, I, uh, Eva, who works for me, so Eva, she's 27, so she's nine years younger than me. And a few of the people that I work with are 20 or slightly below. And, um, I can blow their mind telling them that there used to be a queue outside the local nightclub that was a hundred meters long and they were letting one in one out, you know, due to fire regulations. And that is, that fact is mind blowing for them because that they cut out and there were three nightclubs and there's only one now and no one in it. And this has got a point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to be disgusted by young teenagers, but I'm going to get so much shit for this, but I don't really care. I you want to be, be a disgusted. teenage vapor. I want to be disgusted by teenage vapors. Um, I started smoking when I was 12 years old. Who the fuck am I? I started vaping. When I, was, I started smoking when I was 12, and I quit when I was uh, 31. Smoking, so I smoked for 19 years. I, uh, me and my friend, were talking the other day uh, when the two of us turned 18. Um, it made no difference to our lives at all because we already drank in bars where we walked in and they went, Hey, you all right, John? Usual. We already did that. Uh, uh, and I, and I, there's a little bit of me that wonders if we if, if the world's a little bit too safe, there's no one fucking out anymore. Just maybe, I don't have a problem with teenage smokers. <laughs> Get it in you. Yeah, get it in you while you can. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really young ones. Ones. Oh. Uh, oh, I just... I, I, nine, I, 19 year old dies of lung disease. Doesn't happen, does it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I do, I do often think to myself, when, when I, because we we've done these questions, we've done that type of question before, and I, I always feel almost unable to answer. I, I started smoking at 12. Who the fuck am I? We used to make up, I bought my brother's national insurance card off him when I was 14 for a fiver so that I could buy cigarettes without any hassle. That's what I did. I did that. Awesome. And terrible. Awesome and, and terrible. He's, he's, exactly, though, James, but that's exactly the point. Is that yeah. we have a debate where you go, that's pretty clever, and then you go, you shouldn't do that. It's yeah. really bad. Do so I, I wasn't. I wasn't going to talk about. I wasn't going to talk about that. But 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 I, but I, I have kind of brought that into that. I, I have. Got, I've got one more piece of news, and it's similar to um, to Rich's news. And this is Imperial Brands buying UK nicotine liquids maker Nerudia. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, did you say not Nerudia? Nerudia. Yeah. Okay. So this is from um, from 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 writers from writers. I I, I had a look about it. I, I always pronounce it writers. Yeah, writers, yeah. Anyway, so it's writers. So Imperial Brands is buying Nerudia, a UK maker of nicotine liquids for e-cigarettes, as the British tobacco company seeks to expand its portfolio of cigarette alternatives. And uh, it goes uh, goes on to say, um, there's a quote here, and it goes, um, Nerudia is a young and dynamic business, which we are delighted to confirm an acquisition which significantly enhances the innovation capabilities in the next generation product sector. sector. An imperial spokesman said on Wednesday, and that was as far as I got because I just couldn't read anymore because I was just so sickly and I got a little bit of vomit kind of in the back of my throat, and uh, and that was all that I got from that. But it's it's a similar sort of piece of news. 
to, um, to I've I've never ever heard of that Elix company, but it might, it might no, it's a, it's a it's a base company. A what? Nick like so Nick and VG and yeah. Oh. VG. It's one of the bigger, just the second biggest or whatever. Um, it's certainly in this country, um, acquiring things to squeeze into our market. Essentially, was what I took from that. Like I say I didn't, I didn't read a lot more after after I just. Uh, yeah, I did read it. It was on the, it was on the BBC the other day. I did read it. Where did they get the nicotine from, though, in the first place? Tobacco companies. Oh yeah, good point. So, don't know. <laughs> so it's the. Uh, it's, it's a it's the sauce buying the middleman because they were seeing how well the middleman's doing. Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yes, good. So that's the end of my news. Uh, so that's uh, that's uh, over over to you, Rick. It was uh, it was some fantastic news. Great. I news. haven't really got much news, but I have got well, following last week. We had a really we we're very lucky to be able to give away a load of mods last week, weren't we? On our two year show. Oh, um, just a quick. Quick jump in. Anyone who hasn't posted a picture of what they won, post it. Because that's what that's what politeness says you do. Please post it and say that you won this. It really does make a difference. Okay. Right. Yes, we did the competition. We gave away loads of mods last week and we felt some people were let left out. And the people those people are people who can't watch the show. Um uh, and the idea was I put a post up saying, give us a reason why you can't watch the show. There were lots of really lovely responses, lots of sad, heart-wrenching responses. But it was really just I wanted an honest reason why somebody can't turn on YouTube on a Thursday night at 9 o'clock and get involved in our little thing we've got going on here. Um, I haven't done a draw, but I have picked a winner. And it might – I'd hope it doesn't upset anybody. It's only a mod after all. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, it's but there is somebody that stood out stood out to us, I think, um, as being into the group, being generous and everything. You're really embarrassing me now. That's really cheers, man. You were watching the show, you were on it. I oh, know you weren't watching it, you were on it, so I suppose you could have you could go in, but um I picked a winner based on the fact he works every week, but he's a constant contrib contributor to the group and gets involved. And so I'd like to say that Craig Nichols has on the screen mod because he's yeah, at work nah. Thursday. Lovely well, Craig. When he's you a lovely chap. He bought a crate yeah. of beer with him to wait for us two years. Yeah, he's always, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm sorry for anybody sure. that else that what, thought they were going to get in and win and win it as well. You deserved it as well. Clearly, next time around, it might be your turn. Craig won't win a game for a while. Lovely guy, Craig. Should, should no one say anything until Saturday when Craig watches it? Yeah, don't say anything. Yeah, don't tell him anyone. No we just wait no for him to out on Facebook. Back. Nobody say anything on Facebook. Yeah, but he works every Thursday and can't watch the show. But he's a you know he's a supporter of the group and and the channel and everything. So uh, and he, he, good on he you, Craig. Works, he works in the airline industry, doesn't he, Craig? Yeah, he makes he makes he flying sure things. Have safe holidays, so it's good. Yeah, but no, I'm. Yeah, I was going to do a draw, but then I thought it's it's just it's. It's, it didn't work out like no, that. It's a good thread. It's a good. Like it's a good thread, and uh, yeah, good, good winner. So yeah, and again, a massive thank you to Mark at Screen Mods. He makes he makes some brilliant uh, series. Skonkers got one here. They're uh, they're worth well worthy. Go and go and check him out. Bravo. That's the only news I've got really this week. Good times. Yeah, good news. Good news. Are we doing Troll of the Week? Let's do Troll of the Week. Have we got Troll of the Week? We've got Troll of the Week. Yes. Yes. Oh, so we're a little bit held on, but let's plough through. Um, it was pointed out to me by fellow Omi, who requested to go nameless, that we're scouring the web for trolls, and we haven't done... Any pictures of cats, which are which do make up seventy percent of the internet. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> trolling cats this week. Okay, uh, so we can, down some pictures. Roll, roll up the slides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, there's a cat that's not particularly pleased with his new cellmate. <laughs> 
I quite really like that one. Try. The dogs looks incredibly cute on there. Um, this this has got to be a, a <laughs> setup picture. Everything <laughs> is awful. Look <laughs> yeah, on the book, amazing. <laughs> if that was if that wasn't a plant, then that is just amazing. What's that one? <laughs> 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 this one reminds me of it might just be me but if see if anyone else does anyone remember big keith from the office yes yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that is that the cat version of big keith or what could be a cat i think it is i really think it is he must be the owner of that cat i think that cat He's probably just gonna watch pig practice and then have a wank <laughs> yeah <laughs> he likes repeats <laughs> That's a, that's a that's a that's a big cat. Fucking look at the neck on that one. Wow, that's a giraffe cat. This is a, a Peaky Blinder. Oh, <laughs> that's... Well, that's topical. It's a new season. Very, very very topical. I'm so <laughs> glad that didn't clash with Thursdays. <laughs> thank, thank you to the BBC if you're watching. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, that's that one. Oh, we got chat cat. This is up. this is Big Jay's cat. <laughs> that is that's like a ball bag with a hoodie on. That's horrible. <laughs> that is, that top though. It's one of those ones with no no fur in it. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's cross because he's cold. But that is that is Big Jay's cat. Yeah, he he have one. Have a word. See if he's got yeah. one. Does he have sofas though? Is he still on the old uh, deck chairs? What's his mum in it? I don't know. He's got he's got a sofa, but it's got plastic on it. Last time I was around, didn't he? Yeah. So that is that is one angry cat. Yeah, you're not you're not stroking that, are you? It's got attitude, that cat. I'll be scared of that cat. Yellow eyes. It's never a good look. Uh, but yeah, you've so got, that's. You've got... I've got yeah, I've got a cat. He's all right. You've got a cat. I I had two cats. Then we found out that my wife was is allergic to cats, so we had to get rid of. Them. So I just I just buried them. The only thing the only thing I like is that they're sort of legally vagrant. They're legally vagrant. Yeah, from a legal standpoint, they're va they're technically vagrant. So any any action they get up to in public is is no one's fault. Oh, that's quite handy. Actually. Uh, and so I've used that to do all kinds of things because I've got a really well trained cat. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> uh, so yes, that's that's this week's troll of the week. We can now tick that box. Oh, there's it's another one. There's oh, another one. Yeah. One. Oh my god. Yeah, there's another oh, yeah, one. This, oh, <laughs> This is a celebrity cat. This is Jack D's cat. Is it really? <laughs> no. We've but got, we've got a little bit of Jack D of the four-legged world. You've kind of got your window open at the bottom, uh, Rick. Oh, oh dear. Piles. Um, that that we've got a little form. bit addicted to the lead balloon for like two weeks. <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> I, I like that cat there. It looks like, it looks like a corporate, corporate fat cat. Yeah, <laughs> his nose is too oh, far yeah. up though, isn't it? His nose is too high. He wouldn't be able to wear spectacles. There's something wrong with that cat. <laughs> it ain't normal. He's smelling his eyes, <laughs> smelling my own eyes. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh, I think he's quite well put together. I mean, it's it's all disproportionate, but yeah, yeah. Like, like, like oh, nice though. I like the tie. It's it's always nice when you see an old boy in a tie. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. yeah. Good man, Richard. I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it. <laughs> right, carry on. Uh, to it's have we got have we got a bar showcase? That would be amazing. <laughs> you think it might be that time of week again? I don't know. It might be. It's it's eleven minutes to eleven. Is it? Fuck. That's that time. Oh, there we go then. Must be that time of week again, where it's time to look at mod showcase of the week. I'm really hoping this. I never, I never look at them before we start, but I really mm -hmm. hope one of them's in there. I've got two to show you this week. I've got one by somebody who I've never heard of before, but he's made something really, I think, really special. Um, his name's Jan Kaur. Probably pronounced that wrong, um, but he's made something really quite elegant. And um, let's, if he's not English, it's definitely Jan. Yeah, it'd be Jan. Yeah, it must be Jan. But yeah, he made this, and I think it's beautiful. So let's have a look at it. Oh, it's I not even that. a squonker, but I love it. It's, it's like an Anatolian. It does it's just really? Not, it's real wood. I mean, it's lovely, yeah. proper bit of wood. It's not 
not there's anything wrong with stabilized of course i love stabilized wood but this is a real piece of wood um i just think it's it's elegant and nice i will say he's got that down that faceplate fits perfectly so it looks he's left the blooming pull tab on the display but oh, apart from that maybe he hasn't finished the mod but it's beautiful i really like it oh, it's, it's, it's good i i love i love a matching drip tip you know when you get a mod and it comes with a matching drip tip it's good always oh, yeah, good. That's a nice yeah. It's a nice. So that's touch, a really so. nice piece. That's that's Yan Core. Uh, very good work, mate. Really like that. Um, next one, I've got to show it. We we all love him. We all know him. We've all seen it before. But okay. Scott Bonner's made another mod. Hey, I'm, that's oh. why the one. That's that was what I was hoping for. The Bonner mod. Yeah, oh. it's beautiful, isn't it? He's really he's been he's made a few of these now, and he's really he's never happy with them. But I reckon he must be pretty happy with this one. It's really good. Yeah, it's outstanding. It's a beautiful piece of wood, and he's and he's he's, he's totally nearly. He said, I think he said on his uh, on his thread that it had a few little uh, little little burrs and holes that he would filled in individually and sanded them by hand. And it looks, um, he's, he, he has absolutely nailed it. It's beautiful. I don't I think like, that's yeah. from one piece, isn't it? That's why it looks that good. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I mean, yeah, he's left some burrs in, hasn't he? Knowing Scott, I bet he's still not happy with that, but. No. It should be. It should be. It's perfect. So yeah, that's uh, uh the love the wonderful Scott Bonner turn effects. Turnwoodfx.com. Yeah, um keep doing it, Scott. Keep keep making them, mate. They're great. Keep doing it. And them, the mate. amount of requests that I, I know I've seen since the show last week when we were talking about um Scott Sullivan. I don't know he'll act he'll be cringing into his seat. But people people want them. Mr. I get to 69. Oh, mate. Yeah, Scott, make them. People buy them. Ain't people that... have them. I'll buy one off you. Make me one. Cool. Please. I'll, have one. I'll buy one. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's lovely. I mean, and he was good enough last week as well to give away another beautiful mod, pretty much the same as this, but in uh, yeah, I think you hybrid block. Um, so, somebody very lucky won that. Um, so, yeah, good work, Scott. Nice one. Keep it up, mate. Um, and that's Mod Showcase of the Week. If you've, uh, you want to see some more, get yourself onto facebook.com and do a search for Mod Showcases. Got a little group. People put mods up. They make them, put pictures up. It's nice. Is that www.facebook? If, if you go to yeah, google.com and you type in facebook.com. Yeah, look out for that little uh, blue box with a white F in it. That's, that's a site called facebook.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still whistling in the background. I'll give it that. In. Well, I think are we about there? Or are we going to do? Are we going to do a, a quick thing? Something else? Or have we got? What do you want to do? Oh, are we going to do a yes no? Yes no to the new let's, host. Let's, let's wrap up. Has it been all right, James? Oh, it's been awesome. I've had a, I've had a lovely time. I've had an absolute. Thanks for having us. Uh, How do you feel about doing this every Thursday for the rest of your life? That seems crazy, <laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't that seem crazy? Just, <laughs> just like every Thursday, and, and it if, is. I mean, it must get easier. It must get easier. Uh, there must be a point where tomorrow I'll wait where I don't go. Oh, so I've got another six days of stress before I've got to do the show again. Oh, yeah. I mean, it must get easier. I'm sure it must. Yeah. The greatest thing, uh, obviously, in a weird way, and you're, you're definitely, I mean, uh, James and I, how long have we known this? About two years, have we, James? As, as proper friends are, yeah. Yeah, about two years. Um, and um, so you already, we've already got this going. We've already, don't worry, if I'm going to explain to it, we've already got this going. When I see these two, when we get to a vape event, it's like seeing a member of your family you actually like. Like, it's not that one where you go, oh, oh hey, no, no, you actually like them. We've already got that, Jace, but you, you've got you got two more now. It's amazing. Yay! It's lovely to be part of the uh, idea, I, the ideal family. It's lovely to be part of that. It's, uh, you know, right. I, well, I, have right. been, I have been, a, I have been a fan, and you know, I always thought I have to. That's, I'm not going to show. Yeah, um, it, I always thought two hour shows. That's a lot because it's hard. It's hard because I, I couldn't always watch on the night. We circumstances, circumstances have changed in the last uh, few months, so I was able. I was, so I was able to watch, but I missed a load of shows just because I wasn't able to cram in two hours at any one point. But when you're sitting here talking, two hours is like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah it whizzes totally over. Um, uh, but it's been brilliant. It's been, tonight's been brilliant. Uh, hopefully, people have been at least 
not repulsed by us. If, 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 I, if people have not been repulsed, I have looked in chat or anything like that, but if people have not been repulsed, then I'm, I'm happy. That's what we say. Fuck them. Oh, <laughs> it's been great in chat. No, it's been great in chat. Bro. You would say, you're, you're a lovely bloke. Can we get a, <laughs> can we get a signature Rick sign off? Let's get it. All right. We'll just say, you, thanks ever so much for watching. This has been the Ideal Home Show. We will see you next Thursday at 9 pm ish. All four of us. I think we're all on next week, aren't we? Oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Possibly, the mooch. possibly the mooch. Yeah, possibly the mooch will be coming and giving us an update on what's been going on as well. So we'll catch you all next week. Smash that weird wave. Bye. 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 Bye.